Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 16 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighed in at 61 kilos. He fights out of UTC, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Aaron Fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Leicester. He's 24 years old. Stands 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighed in at 61 kilos. He fights out of Leicester Shoot Fighters. And tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Nayan Scrappy Patel. Bout number seven, we are up with the bantamweights. It's the first of our B-class rules. B-class means headshots for those not in the know of the lingo. Red corner in the red shorts. Thank you for colour coordinating. Is Nayan Patel. Patel from Leicester Shoot Fighters. His opponent Aaron Lavelle. Lavelle in the black shorts in the blue corner. And he is from UTC in Birmingham. The two very well respected gyms that are very well represented in the, the Fight UK, both on the professional shows and here at the amateur championships. And some great explosive fighters that we're seeing in Aaron Lavelle and Nayan Patel. Patel throwing some nice leg kicks. Interestingly about Patel is he's got a karate background. He has got a very unorthodox striking stance. Lavelle, you can hear them, the tribe of UTC supporters as they clinch in the commentary box area of the cage. And it's Patel pursuing, trying to get that takedown, holding on to that single but rolling through. Now he's landing himself in a bad position. But look at this, Lavelle is not interested. He wants to throw lever tonight. There's a nice jab, flicks it out twice there. And look at the head movement from Patel. It's a bundle of energy, this young man. He comes yeah, forward and throws a nice leg kick, but he's got to be careful of keeping his hands up. Yeah, it's interesting. You would imagine that the, the, the head movement, the fast striking from the karate guy, but what I was surprised was with the, with the takedown attempt straight away early on. Testament to the cross training, courtesy of Mr. Winner and Mr. Leverton in his corner over there as we clinch. So Lavelle. Body lock position and gets the takedown. And he just bullied his man to the floor there. The much taller fighter at this weight and obviously was able to use that leverage. He stuck out the back door quite amazingly there. He is still, I, I stand by what I say then. I don't think Lavelle's interested in the ground game. He just wants to, he just wants to hurt Patel. Just a little over a minute left in this round. A nice jab from Lavelle there. And for the taller fighter, surely he's got to be looking to back everything up behind that jab to get, use it to successfully set combinations and a nice oh. uppercut as his man came in there. That was ferocious right uppercut there from Lavelle. Lavelle seems to have sailed a little bit in this round and found his range. We can see. So Patel with his back against the cage. Lavelle's had the ring dominance throughout this round, I think, Ben. I mean, for me, Lavelle look, looking like the much rangier striker, but the more dangerous on his feet as well. Patel's never stopped moving to his credit. Yeah, is Lavelle's waiting for Patel to give his back up every time and firing those shots down. That was, I don't actually know what happened there. That was a bit of a scramble, but we are on the ground. Patel's on his back, Lavelle's on top in a closed guard position. Well, that's and the end of a fast and furious first round. Okay, so we're ready for round two. Straight back in. Nayan Patel in the red shorts, Aaron Lavelle in the black shorts. Patel obviously the shorter fighter, so to make his striking more effective he's going to have to get on the inside. Or else on the outside with punches and kicks he's going to be at the wrong end of the jab or the wrong end of the leg kick all night. That's a nice kick. What Patel is doing I'm noticing is when he's throwing those kicks he's turning away almost. Which is a really bad habit to get into. He's got yeah. to be careful of that. You can get away with that in karate but that's not going to work in MMA.
to the way Patel turns like that. It's got to be very careful of it. And a nice reverse turning kick over the top there. Just wasn't able to pull that off. Audacious to even try that. But Patel's corner, as you said there, Nathan, Nathan Leverton and Andre Winner there, really urging the man to come forward. There's a nice kick over the top. Look at the striking coming from Lavelle. That was, he was leaping in like a gazelle, throwing straight shot after straight shot. That was fantastic. And look, he is, his game plan is he's not interested. He wants to strike. Now we can see Patel getting a warning, I think, for fleeing by the looks of things. Well, what are just having a word there? Like we say, very experienced referee. He's at the highest level. And there's another kick over the top. Patel's really comfortable with those kicks. And there we see Lavelle open up again. He's timing it. He's got his game plan. He's taking his time, picking his moment. And when Patel offers that back up, he's going in. So again, Mark Water just letting his man know Patel just to face up as he gets up. And Patel almost gone into an old school kind of tie stance there. He's got the open hands up, the front leg very light. Looks like he's setting up a big kick of some description. Yeah, I think we're seeing his karate background coming through there. Switching his stance. He's very unorthodox. It's very difficult to judge someone like that when you don't know what they're going to do next. See him just backing up around the cage. Big right hand from Lavelle. He's just going to take his time and pick his man apart piece by piece. Reverse turning kick there, spinning back kick, doesn't quite land. But that to the body is a fight finisher. And now we see that tie stance again. You see not a lot of weight on the front foot. Nathan Leverton and Andre Winner in the corner of Patel looking quite frustrated with the man. Yeah, it looks like Andre's about to climb up the cage wall from where I'm sat. There's the clackers, final 10 seconds of round two. Doesn't look like he was getting anywhere with that takedown. And there's the final, final whistle of that round. Two rounds in the book, very close fight. But Lavelle, for me, the key for him is he's making that range work and making that strike ineffective. So the third and final round in what has been a very entertaining B-class amateur bout at bantamweight between Aaron Lavelle in the black shorts out of UTC and Nayan Patel in the red trunks out of Leicester shoots. Crowd really getting into this one as we can hear. Some tumultuous applause. Lavelle, Lavelle reminds me of a praying mantis with that stance. It's a very good observation. He's very, he uses that height incredibly well. You can see as soon as Patel comes anywhere near him, he's scooching his hips out of the way, out of harm's way. And following it through with some straight shots. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. And again, hips out of the way. It's very effective. I and mean, I really like the kicks that Patel's able to throw, but he's really got to work on that stance and not turning around as the shots come in. Fantastic takedown from Lavelle. Almost Matador Astan as he just wh whisked his man to the floor almost. But what we've seen from Lavelle is a real uh, unwanting to go to the ground when the fight does go there. He just he's content to step back and call his man up. Correct, yeah. He's uh he's he is dominating the stand-up and rightly so, it's a strong point. I would like to see some groundwork, as I'm sure the judges would. Maybe he's looking to get that takedown. He's got the single in position there. If he can negotiate it around. Lavelle doing the right thing. Again, he's back to the cage. He's falling back and he's falling back into the side control position. Once again, we see Lavelle just disengaging. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, Mark's not very happy with that. Or it might have been the little sneaky cage grab he had in that clinch there. Nice lead hook there from Patel. Lavelle's mouth a little bit open. I mean, Patel presumably behind on the scorecards. He's got to really go for broke because we have left, just about a minute left in this round and now he's given his back up. Nice suplex takedown. And the first time really we've seen a con consistent period on the ground. 
We are approaching the last minute of the last round. And Laval once again, there we go, disengages. He's confident, he's confident standing, he's confident he's got this one. There's a nice jab, crisp jab behind that straight. There's another nice shot coming in, there's some knees coming in from Patel from the clinch. Yeah, we've, uh, we're going to see a... We've got a gum shield out, so we're going to see that slipped back in in the next opportune moment. There we go, a brief time called. It was Lavelle's gum shield that came out. And we're back in, final seconds. Patel knows he's got to go for broke, really. And there's a huge kick over the top, doesn't really land. But Lavelle finishing strong as well. It's a fantastic finish, this one. It's like something out of Rocky, that final final few seconds. was like Rocky IV. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And all three judges have rendered a unanimous decision in favour of your winner, from the blue corner, Aaron Lavelle. Let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Mayan 